Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll be taking you through CSS text effects. Before we start, I would like to take a quick confirmation from the viewers if the screen is clearly visible and the audio is fine. If yes, kindly type yes in the chat section and if there are any changes required from our end, do let us know in the chat section only. Also guys, sorry for not being able to do live sessions on Simply Code regularly for CSS because we were working on getting some crazy content for you guys. I hope you guys must have been aware of the software development training program which is currently going on in our YouTube channel. So that training program covers all the important aspects of software development. From basic topics like data structures and algorithms to some highly preferred programming languages like Python, Java and JavaScript. We have got you covered. So we have everything in under one program. So do check those live sessions from Simply Code and prepare yourself well for becoming a great software developer. So let's wait for some more minutes so that some more people can join us. Until then, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple programming videos. So if you are a programmer and if you want to learn something new, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Code. Great, I think we can get started now. So CSS is used to style a web page. It's quite basic, right? We know everything about CSS. We know how to style a web page. We have different elements present within CSS. We can say different properties present within CSS. Those properties we can use to style a web page. Now text effects is a little different from what we have learned till now. By text effect, we mean adding effects to certain text on a web page. It's not that we are going to change the style of our text again. We are going to make it red we can do it right we can do it basically with the help of the color property we have the background color we have the background property we have different properties present in css to change the style of text but the text effect is different so what we are going to do is we are going to take you through different properties in css which we can use for adding text effects so the first property we are going to have a look at is text overflow now this property specifies how overflowed content that is not displayed should be signaled to the user. How would the user know that if the content is overflowed from the text area? How would they know? So that's why we have the text overflow property. You guys will understand it much better with the help of an example. So let me just take you through the programming part directly. So here we have you can see a basic HTML page or we can say HTML document. We have nothing but a heading only over here. So let's add some code over here. What we are going to do is we are going to take a paragraph but before that let's add a heading so we are going to write text overflow property fine okay just a minute yeah we have this another heading with the h2 tag you can see the difference between the h1 and h2 tag over here as well Although I believe that you guys are good, well aware or well known of the HTML programming language. So let's add a paragraph over here. So we'll write over here, this is a long paragraph. Fine. And what we are going to do is we are going to write here, this will not fit in the box. Fine. So we have a paragraph over here, a small one, maybe of two sentences. So yeah, we have this over here. Now we are going to write over here h2 so we have different values for the text overflow property fine so let's just use this one first so we have a paragraph we have the style tag present over here in the header section of html document now you guys are well known of the different types of css files right so we have internal external and inline so we are using internal for now what we are going to do over here is we are going to access a element so we'll write over here P dot. Okay, so we have to write a class over here. We have to give this a class name. So yeah, let's say we are going to write here box one. We are going to write here P dot box one. And this is a class name. Box one is the class name basically. So the first property we are going to write over here is white space. And we'll write over here no wrap. Save it. And here you can see nothing happened. It's just a simple property which will reduce the white space around the box. You guys will get to know about it but we are going to write you over here let's say 200 pixels then we have border as well so we'll write over here border as 
one pixel of course solid and black not lack it's black now the last property we have to write over here overflow as hidden fine save it and here you can see the box is not visible because we have a space over here between one and pixel save it now and here you can see the box the overflow is hidden if I remove this overflow property from here save it and here you can see the text is overflowing right so what we are going to do first is we are going to use the overflow property so the overflow is now hidden the last property we are going to use is the text overflow what we are going to do is we are going to write over here clip this is the value of our text overflow property clip it and here you can see it's perfectly fine right clear won't make too much of difference in the paragraph but it is still here it's mentioned like the user will know that there's something after this particular paragraph as well right so this was the first value of the text overflow property similarly we have overflow as ellipse as well so we'll write over here ellipsis now save it and here you can see the three dots I'm not sure if it's visible right yeah it's visible now so just remove this once save it and here you can see this was our box and what we can see is the user will know right the user will know that there is something after this particular paragraph inside the box but with the ellipsis property okay just a second but with the ellipsis property if we'll save it here you can see we have three ellipses over here present over here three dots right so now the user will definitely know that there is something written after this particular line on this paragraph there's something inside this text box fine so this is how we can use the text effect property that's why we are not styling the text we are just adding some effects some real time effects right we are hiding the whole of paragraph and just letting the user note that there exists something there's something after this particular line inside the box so yeah that's what css text effects can do for us the second thing we are going to go through is the word wrap now the css word wrap property it's also a property it allows long words to be able to be broken and wrap onto the next line it's quite the same let's go through it quickly so we are going to write over here paragraph with classes box to fine so we have to write over here lorem okay so we have a paragraph over here you can see now we are going to style it fine we'll move to the head section we'll move to the style tag basically so we'll write over here p dot box two or we could have named it as word wrap just so just let it be for now we are going to write here width width is going to be 11m and then we'll write over here border border is going to be one pixel solid and black in nature then we have the word wrap property so we'll write over your word wrap as break word now save it and here you can see if we have any broken word okay just let me check in the paragraph okay so let's just write a word over here we'll write whatever we wrote over here it's very 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 small 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 save it and here you can see it says very 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 small small and till sm all is in the next line so this is how we can wrap words with the help of certain css properties the word wrap property to be specific fine similarly we have some other properties as well in css a second i'll take you through them so the next property we are going to dis uh, discuss over here is the word break property so just now we came across the word wrap property we know what the word wrap property can do it wraps the word in a specific area if the word is longer than the specific area then it will move it to the next line fine it's as easy as that now what we are going to do over here is we are going to take a look at word break so what is word breaking the css word break property it specifies line breaking rules now let's understand this with the help of an example so what we'll do is we'll take another paragraph so we'll write over here p okay p we have written over here then we'll take classes box three 
and then we'll write something let's say lorem fine save it we have another paragraph present over here let me just reduce the size of this screen again now we are going to take another paragraph over here class is equals to box 4 lorem save it and here you can see we have two different paragraphs right they are random paragraphs we can use the lorem word and give any number in front of it like if you will write lorem 100 it will print the hundred first hundred words of this particular paragraph fine now what we'll do is we'll write over here p dot box 3 and then we'll write over here width width is going to be 140 pixels then we have border again so these properties will remain the same if we want to add border to a to anything we just have to write the border property right we can't do anything else other than that so we'll write over here solid and black fine save it and here you can see it's not present inside the okay it's not visible as of now now what we'll do is we'll write over here word break word break we are going to write over here break all save it and here you can see the difference I'm not sure if you are able to see it or not okay box 3 yeah this is the box so okay this is not the paragraph this is the paragraph so I'll write over here 5 pixels and here you can see the words are breaking it's basically not for a single word the word wrap property and the word break property the only difference is word wrap property does it for a single word while word break property any word that will come in the end towards the end of the line it will shift it to the next line it's simple right the difference between word wrap and word break property now we are left with another property it's the CSS writing mode the CSS writing mode it is a property that specifies whether lines of text are laid out horizontally or vertically what do we mean by what do we mean by horizontally and vertically these lines are horizontal right so vertically we mean the lines which are going from up down direction fine so we'll check this out again we are going to use the box 4 we are going to write over here box 4 and this is the class name so we'll write over here writing mode as vertical vertical lr means vertical let's see what it means so just save it first and we'll write over here lr okay so this is the text so you, here you can see lr means left right yeah we'll do the same for rl save it yeah it's rl and lr okay yeah it means from up to down or down to up so similarly we have the horizontal property as well we'll write over here horizontal for once horizontal tb yeah it's fine horizontal tb means it's default by right it's quite default so I hope you guys are well aware of these properties by now these are some of the properties we can use in CSS for text effects now the number of properties is quite large we might have more than 100 properties with through which we can add effects to our text but in this particular video we were supposed to discuss these four only because these are the most important ones but if you want to make the text horizontal on your web page oh, I mean it's already horizontal but what if you want to make it vertical on a web page so that's why we use the CSS text effects especially that writing mode property it's of utter importance fine so I hope you guys must have understood the what we are go, trying to do in this particular video if you feel that we have missed out on some important topic or any important property then that we were supposed to cover in this particular tutorial then please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below and we'll have your questions answered and any topic we are left leaving behind or we left by mistake we'll cover them for you in the next videos or in the upcoming videos also we'll consider every suggestion provided by you guys so with that this is Kaushal signing off until next time